what is going on guys, so I'm going to show you how to use the cheap contrast node, now I usually find this node very useful when I want to just simply manipulate my material in the engine rather than doing it in Photoshop, so if we look at this material, um, let's say we want the blacks to be more pronounced using a cheap contrast, so if we just jump into material, and now type up here contrast, which I already had typed in, but contrast, oh, we'll get two different types, you get cheap contrast and you get cheap contrast, the contrast RGB, now both are useful at times, but the one I use more is just cheap contrast. So I'll quickly show you what they both do. Oop. So if we connect them up, without missing the circles, there you go. Get two um, one constants by holding one and left clicking. We'll set both of them to point two. Now, if we connect up just the normal cheap contrast and put it in here. You can see it turns it black and white, but it does contrast the blacks and the whites. So if I put it up to five, you can see it really doesn't. If I go over the top, it's a one. There you go. So it's a re really nice effect, but you're not going to want it black and white usually. So if we uh, now connect up my cheap contrast RGB, it contrasts everything, obviously. So if you have it like Photoshop or anything, you turn up contrast, it always is just going to contrast your color as well as your um, actual grays. So yeah. This sometimes can work, depending on what you're going for. I personally don't usually use cheap contrast RGB. I usually just use cheap contrast. Now, the way I usually do this, so, like I said, that can work for certain things, but the way I usually do this is I get the cheap contrast, I get the result I want, black and white-wise. So I'm like, yeah, I kind of want that to be a little bit darker, maybe. So, yeah. Then all I do is I hold M and set up a multiply. There you go. And then I connect that to there. Connect that to there, and connect that back up to there, and we get it overlaying at the top. So the difference, if I show you between two, we had this one, and if we connect that up, we now have this one. So it's um, a nice little effect I like to do to try to get my uh, materials looking more like grimy, a little bit more old. But yeah, that's pretty much how I go about doing my cheap contrast. I hope this helped anyone who didn't know how to do it. I will be doing a tutorial showing you the difference between multiply, add, and overlay, and maybe subtract. But I'll be doing that sometime in the future. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope this helps anyone who didn't want to jump back into Photoshop and turning up the contrast in there. Anyways, thank you very much and bye-bye.